Good morning. So this is how we uh, fire up the computer to get the computers fired up in the morning all at once. Uh, you log into your main computer and get to your desktop. And then uh, you open up Pharonix Insight. Um, and that could be right here. Or you could do a search. Uh, type in FA or FAR. And it will bring up Pharonix. And then you just select that. So we open the software. Once that screen is open, we go to Administrator. And then in Administrator, you get the ability to power on student. And then it selects all the computers it's tied to, recognizes them, and you hit power on. And after you hit power on, you can see that the computers in the room start to wake up and start to turn on. Um, then, as that's happening, you're sort of glancing over there. You're also keeping an eye on this screen. Because <clears throat> what's going to happen is they're going to start populating right here as they come in. And the timing uh, has to be right So here they start populating on the screen, uh, they say not logged in. It's at this time when they all pop up that you want to quickly, you know, get here, you get out of that screen, and then where they are here, you want to capture them all as quickly as you can before they start saying not responding. And as soon as you get them all, um, they're not logged in, they don't say not responding, that's when you can control them all and you say yes and then what you're seeing here on this screen is one of the computers uh, this is computer number 16 um, but if we take a look around again you'll see that all the computers sort of look like that um, when I hit enter on the keyboard here this computer is going to turn purple and the rest of them are going to turn purple so I'm using this computer as like the master for all of them and now again, timing's kind of critical on this. So you get to this login screen and you type in your login, which for this one I'm using EB Tech 4. EB Tech 4. <clears throat> now I'm going to wait until I see my cursor in that box by EB Tech 4 flash on and off. Once I see the cursor flash, then I do believe that it has communicated with the last computer over there. Now this is the critical part. You have to hit tab on the keyboard here to get you to your next uh, dialog box because if you click on the mouse it may not line up with the rest of the computer. So I hit tab. I hit tab and I'm in there and now I'm going to put my password in which is STEM lab and again I'm gonna wait for that cursor to flash one time and again it's only one time because you don't want to go to the blue screen now the fact that it went to the blue screen and came back I think I'm gonna be lucky so now I hit enter and this screen goes to welcome it looks like it's logging in and now I want to make sure that's the same on the rest of the screens and it does look like the case that it's actually logging in on all of them. Um, so I'm fortunate my timing worked and eventually all those screens will populate um, and they'll all be a master of this and then I would just hit <clears throat> once they're all up I would just hit control take them out of control 